The not enough buyers for products is an issue that most players will face at some point when playing City Skylines. It's something that affects industrial zoning, and, like the name suggests, it's triggered when your factories are producing more goods than what they're capable of selling. Most likely, you haven't done anything wrong. You just play the game, and the game screwed you, as it usually does. It can be tempting to just bulldoze the buildings which are complaining and pretend the issue is gone, but unless you fix the root cause of the issue, those annoying warnings will keep popping on top of your factories. Thankfully, it's easy to understand why the issue happens and so is the fix for it, so you won't have to destroy the workplaces of your citizens and send them right to unemployment. Now, what does the not enough buyers for product warning mean? It means the supply of goods in your city is higher than the demand. Your factories are producing finished goods at a higher rate than what they're capable of selling to your commercial zones or exporting to other cities. As mentioned already, you probably haven't done anything wrong, but it could mean your city naturally reaches a stage where it has too much industry than it can handle, and it needs some adjustments before developing further. There are three ways of fixing the not enough buyers for products issue. First, you can design some industrial. If your city is producing more goods than what it can sell, you can simply reduce the production of goods by decreasing the number of factories in your city. That would fix the issue, but what if you have a high demand for industry? You should be zoning more industry and not dezone it. By dezoning industry in this scenario, you would simply reduce the amount of jobs available and increase in employment in your city, taking away jobs from people who need to work. That takes us to option number two, which is to zone more commercial. If your factories don't have enough buyers for products, then just give them more buyers. Commercial zones buy finished goods directly from the factories and sell them to the citizens and tourists and can be an effective way to fix the issue. But what if the current amount of commercial you have right now is enough to serve the city at its current stage? What if there's no demand for commercial? What if your citizens don't want more shops next to their homes? If you zone more commercial in this scenario, shops will either not be built or be built shortly before getting abandoned. That doesn't seem very smart planning, does it? Thankfully, there's option number three, which is to increase your exports. If you don't have any demand for commercial, why not send the products elsewhere and let it be someone else's problem? Exporting is a great way of getting rid of excess cargo, and also a good way of making money as well. For this, you need to build the right infrastructure, and the idea is for your factories to have multiple options for shipping products. In my current city, I provided rail access by building a cargo train station, which magically solved my excess products issue. As soon as I built a cargo train station, all my factories happily sent their trucks there to export their goods outside the city, and all the not enough buyers for products warnings were gone. Besides trains, you can also use ships to export cargo by building a cargo harbor. Finally, it's also important to have good and fast access to the highways leading out of the city, so your trucks don't have to drive through your entire residential zones and create all kinds of traffic issues. Hope this video has been helpful. If you like this city and want to see it develop, you can watch my Let's Play series here. Thanks for watching and have fun!